Axel. Oui, il, ah, il est super bien parti. Oh là là, oh là, là, là le drone qui s'est passé le drone oh Hey guys, what's happening and welcome back to our channel. There are days when all that you're doing just ends in tragedy. You know those days, the one that start with you losing your mug full of coffee and end up with you standing in the rain waiting for a bus that never seems to turn up. But don't panic, for sometimes the reverse happens as well, as people in today's video will tell you. They're almost unlikely to be lucky. These are the luckiest people in the world caught on camera. Number 5. Natural Disaster Once upon a time in Greece, some people worked in the forest when suddenly a glacier crashed over them. Pretty scary, isn't it? But guess what? They all survived. The chances of being struck by lightning are 1 in 12,000. Except for the blind and deaf, 62-year-old Edwin E. Robinson, the odds rose to 100%. Robinson wandered out in the field outside his house. Swinging on his aluminum cane and then finding cover under the only tree as it started to rain, it was too enticing for the lightning that hit him to the ground. He remained asleep for 20 minutes until he woke up and staggered back to his home, returning to bed for a well-deserved sleep. Yet when he woke up in the evening, he found that he could see and hear again. He was treated further by his psychiatrist, who reported that he had regained both his sight and hearing and that he actually survived the explosion due to the rubber shoes he was wearing. Number 4. Survived Death A boy named Allison leaped off of a cliff and unintentionally fell and smashed into bricks, but he was fortunate enough, and after he dumped into the rock, he landed safely in the water. Similarly, an elderly couple walked down the lane when a car came out of nowhere and reached them, but they didn't even get a scratch. Somewhere in a village in India, four guys crossed the railroad track and suddenly a train arrived, but the guys were lucky enough to have slipped away. The Croatian Frain Selic, dubbed the luckiest unluckiest man in the world, has cheated death not once, not twice, but an incredible seven times. His first brush with death came in 1962 when he was on a train in January. The train swung off the rails and plunged into a frozen river. Bystanders dragged him to the shore and to safety with just a fractured arm while 17 other passengers drowned. Salak, however, swam safely to the shore and only sustained a few cuts and bruises. <laughs> Number 3. Watch the Step An extraordinarily fortunate time to watch an NBA game was when Russell missed an impressive dunk but got an extremely lucky bouncer. A couple was getting married and the guy said 2020 was a horrible year and that's when the lightning hit. They were lucky enough that it didn't cause them any harm. During a BMX race, where a rider made an impressive leap where he didn't land, he lost the lead a little but somehow managed to get up and overtake the other riders and win the race. A van driver got really lucky when a styrofoam leapt out of his van and then jumped back twice in a row to whoa. Even though a drone video is typically pretty good to see an incident that can often happen with drones, a skater was fortunate enough when a drone malfunctioned and he avoided it a few feet out. Number 2. Survived an accident When his car collided with a truck and he was crushed under the impact, Everyone thought it was the end of the line for Australian Bill Morgan and so did the doctors. Declared legally dead for more than 14 minutes, he was somehow revived and managed to survive after only 12 days in a coma, even after the family removed life support. But his luck doesn't end there. To celebrate his survival, he purchased a scratch it card and won a car worth 17,000 Australian dollars, now 25,000 Australian dollars. As the local news channel learned of him and all his good fortune, they were so impressed that they had made a feature about him on the broadcast. 
They challenged him to reenact the scene by scratching another card, only to win another major $250,000 again during the live broadcast. Maybe death was going to be my bad guy. Sometimes people only escape when they prevent the scenario that would put them in danger. However, all of these people never do so knowingly. They're chalking up things to situations like they were injured or they wanted to do something else at the moment, and others say they had a weird sense that they weren't going. I won 250,000, honey. I have. I have. <laughs> In just four months, Dutch cyclist Martin de Jong liked twice on the death of a jet. He booked a seat in the MH17 flight but found a cheaper flight and changed his ticket while the doomed flight he was originally intending to go crashed midway. He was also scheduled to be on MH370, the flight that went missing in 2014 and was never found again, only to reschedule it at the last moment. Number 1. Found at the very last Oysters are a favorite fine dining food, very popular in restaurants and cooks at home for their taste, texture, and sometimes even their price. Some people believe they're an aphrodisiac, and Terry Priest is more than in love with them now that she's got a pearl in one. With the easy act of getting a few 49 pence oysters from Cervezo, just like any other consumer, Terry Priest managed to beat a million to one chance to discover one of the pale gems inside. She was about to travel to Spain and her friends at the homeless shelter where she worked turned the pearl into a 500 pound ring as a present abroad to still act as a little reminder of her wonderful luck. In 2006, Lena Paulson, a Swedish citizen, put aside her wedding ring to do some Christmas baking. But as she went back to her rifle location on her finger, she found that it was gone. I started looking, I crawled my hands and knees, but I got nowhere and I don't know, I tried this for how many days. After years of looking, she and her husband decided that the ring had been lost permanently. That was until 2012, almost 16 years later, when Lena found something waiting for her in her own backyard. While pulling up carrots, Paulson was shocked to find her long lost ring around one of the carrots, an event so wonderful she let out a scream so loud that her daughter could hear it all the way from inside of the house. <laughs> It just doesn't seem real. But Lena couldn't care less about the astronomical odds of how she got her ring back. She's just glad to have it back at all. Well, I guess we just kind of forgot about it. And all of a sudden, yesterday, there's a, a ring around a carrot. Unbelievable. If any such incident happened in your lives as well, don't hesitate to share them with us in the comments section below. And while you're doing that, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to catch up on more awesome content such as this in the future. And with that, I'll be catching you guys later in another video. Bye now.